Lost World Jurassic Park is one of those movies that I don't know if it's legitimately good or just a really great guilty pleasure, because I do enjoy watching this movie a lot. Not as much as the first, but it is a lot of fun. Four years after the events of the first film, Ian Malcolm, once again played by Jeff Goldblum, has become a laughing stock due to his claims that John Hammond has created an island of dinosaurs. But one day, Hammond calls him back to tell him of another island with dinosaurs that no one knew about, because why not, and has already sent Malcolm's girlfriend Sarah Harding, played by Julianne Moore, to the island in order to document the dinosaurs to rally a public support. Why do they need to rally a public support? Because Hammond's nephew Peter Ledlow, played by Arliss Howard, wants to capture the dinosaurs and bring them to San Diego as a tourist attraction. So Ian agrees to go along with two other members, Nick and Eddie, played by Vince Vaughn and Richard Schiff. But Ian's daughter Kelly stows away and after an accident that left them without any communication, they have to make it to a ranger station in order to get off the island. Okay, that plot was way too complicated. I think Hammond is trying a little too hard here. All you have to do is let Ledlow capture them, bring them in, and then make a documentary showing how poorly they are treated and everyone will be on your side. Okay, so like the first one, this one was also based on a book and having read it, I can safely say this is one of the worst adaptations I have ever seen. Now that doesn't mean the movie's bad, it just means that it's damn near nothing like the book. Here's the parts of the book that are in the movie. There's another island of dinosaurs called Isla Sorna. There's a scene where a dinosaur pushes a trailer off a cliff, and there are characters named Ian, Sarah, Eddie, and Kelly. And in the book, Kelly is not Ian's daughter. She's just a student who snuck onto a trip along with her friend named Arby. So yeah, as far as adaptation goes, this gets a D- at best. But as a movie, despite its problems, I still really enjoy it. Why? Well, for one, I do enjoy these characters. That's one thing these Jurassic Park movies always get right. I just enjoy the characters, despite how stereotypical most of them are. The special effects, while not as groundbreaking as the first film, are still pretty good. This movie certainly has a lot of action, but there are two standout scenes. One is, of course, the T-Rex chase through San Diego, which, while at times kind of dumb, is pretty fun to watch. But the best part of the movie, hands down, is the trailer scene. Hang on to something! Hang on to something! But yeah, despite all that, the movie's plot is pretty stupid and contrived. There are quite a lot of idiotic scenes, including the infamous gymnastics death, and the fact that the crew on the boat carrying the T-Rex were magically killed. Yes, I know it was supposed to be a raptor scene that got deleted, but in the context of the film, it makes no sense. So yes, the movie is flawed very, very flawed, but damn it, I enjoy watching it. The action scenes are fun, the characters are likable, and it has some nice effects. It's not a patch on the first movie, and it's one of the worst adaptations of all time, but as a movie on its own, I like it. I give it a 7 out of 10. If you were disappointed back in 1997 and haven't seen it since, give it another chance. You may be surprised. Well, this movie certainly gave me a lot to talk about, so join me next time, where I briefly discuss Amistad. See you then.